Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm Cara Siboy, CNET.com, joined by staff writer Josh Lowenson. And Josh, today we're talking about the iPad mini rumors. Tell us where we stand with the rumor mill. Sure, uh, the big rumor is that we will hear about it in the next couple weeks. <laughs> okay. Maybe there will be an event. You know, everybody kind of thought the iPhone event was the last one. But For the year. Exactly, this could be kind of a surprise event mid-month. Uh, and maybe we just see a release uh, later this month of the actual device. So this is the first offering in this mini space from Apple. When we say mini, how many are we even talking? Sure, so we're talking about a device about 7.85 inches, so the current iPad is 9.7 inches. So it's you know definitely smaller, a little bit closer to what we see from some devices like the Kindle Fire. Mm. And uh, you know the whole idea is just getting something that's very much like an iPad, but smaller. Okay, and other uh, hardware specs, color, anything else? Sure, well, you know, actually been some kind of leaked pictures or what might be leaked pictures that kind of have a white or black style, you know, not very exciting. <laughs> uh, there's no sort of colors that you get with the whole iPod family. Uh, but basically just a very simple kind of portrait uh, device with a metal back and, of course, the glass front, uh, all the same ports, uh, maybe the new lightning port, obviously, uh, things like that. I'm glad you brought up the iPad. Where does this new mini fall into the whole spectrum of pricing for Apple's gadgets? Sure. Between the iPod and the iPad, where does it go? That's kind of an interesting question because uh, if you look at the new iPod Touch, they start at $300. Wow. Uh, and then if you look at the bottom line iPad, which is actually the iPad 2, mm -hmm. it's $399. Hmm. So presumably it would be somewhere between them. But you know, the whole idea of having these smaller tablets is that they would actually be cheaper uh, than the big tablets. And if that's a $300 device competing against uh, something that's $150, I mean, they're going to have to put it somewhere in the $200 level. So release hopefully, or announcement, and then release hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm sure the release will obviously happen before the holiday shopping season. Exactly. I mean, this is all leading up to November. This is when people are buying those gifts for Christmas and, you know, Kwanzaa and whatever else. they, they got to get that out there. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. Josh Lowenson, I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.